high school that uh, yeah, I was leading rallies, was kind of like the center of attention and um, kind of in the limelight a lot. And I enjoyed that kind of stuff and making people happy and being around sports and, and everything. I think I really started to realize that in, in high school. And then when I started getting into broadcasting and doing play-by-play -play or, or color for different games. A couple months before I graduated, I got a hosting job with a minor league baseball team. Single A baseball, Rancho Cucamonga Quakes. And it's crazy, you'll hear about like some of like really small starts and you know, I was making 50 bucks a game and I moved to another city and I was living with some friends of friends and it's just kind of, it's kind of wild going through there and then I knew I wanted to take another step. Got a job with the Barracuda halfway through that first season. Um, the game presentation director here was like, we like what's going on, we want to pull you and your co-host up and we're going to bring somebody else in. Long story short, I was able to win out the job. I was going against two girls, two girls that were very talented and had to really find out like what makes me different and what makes me creative and fun and something that the fan base would really enjoy. It's something more than just games and try to expand into the digital media space as well. getting to spend a lot of different days and times and places with amazing athletes and you know interviewing Eric Carlson out there in the stealth jersey it's just amazing defenseman one of the best players in the NHL and then get to reveal that and it's a part of a broadcast and then I get to do an EA sports shoot with Brendan Dillon and Brent Burns like that kind of stuff and creating relationships with the players is amazing uh, but I know sports is such a great outlet for people to get away with whatever's going on, like family-wise, politically, whatever. Uh, it's, it's great to create relationships with the fans. And um, probably one moment, I had, I had one lady come up to me and she was asking me, like, why are you so happy all the time? Like, how do you, how do you smile? Yeah. And I know for me, like, my faith is a big part of my life. Um, I'm a Christian. and. I just am very blessed to do what I do, and I enjoy it. And I hope that anytime people are coming to the arena, that they find like a good outlet to get away with whatever, or get away from whatever's going on. So I think that one moment, that lady was like, "Wow, it's cool to like find out like you're not just here just so you get some notoriety or get some fame or, or something like that. It's just something I really, really enjoy doing." Get to check out the 50 50 raffle presented by Black Oak Casino. Get off the Tonight it is benefiting an American Cancer Society. Um, I want people to look at my stuff. I'll put an off days episode together. It's like, hey, you're someone that is amazing in the digital media space as well as broadcasting or sports media. I want you to let me know and actually tell me, like, is this, is this good stuff? What's some things that I can learn from? Because that's the only way we get better. And also being genuinely myself. I know that. Um, the only way I'm going to really get to where I want to get to, or even the fact that I've gotten where I've gotten to right now, but I know it's because I'm genuinely myself, and I think people are going to enjoy that, and I'm not trying to be anybody I'm not.